Louisiana Beer Reviews, Holloman's Old Style, Traditional Lager. Holloman's Old Style was introduced in 1902, and the Holloman Brewing Company continued on until it was bought by Stroh's Brewing Company in 1996. It is now a Pabst Blue Ribbon, or a Pabst Brewing Company brand. Heilemann's Old Style is 4.72% alcohol, apparently. I'm not quite sure about that, but that's what they say on uh, Beer Advocate. It gets a C on Beer Advocate. The bros gave it a B, and I gave it a C+. Plus. It's a poor rating on rate beer and a very fine rating on the beer and meat. It won a bronze medal in 03 and in 2010 at the Great American Beer Festival. Won a silver medal in 07 and at the Great American Beer Festival and in 2010 at the World Beer Cup. And it won gold at the 2006 World Beer, World Beer Cup. So it's won a lot of awards. Uh, it's once again croissant. For a while there, they weren't croissanting it or double fermenting it. Here's a bottle I bought in 1996, and uh, might have been 98, but it says there, fully croissant, naturally carbonated. So it was croissant then. It just had stopped doing it at some point. Here is a can I bought in 2002 at Wrigley Field. Old Style is the official beer at Wrigley Field, so they make a big deal out of it. There's the brick wall with the ivy on it. This was the 100th anniversary of Old Style. They used to make this Old Style Classic Draft. Doesn't say cold filter, it says cool brewed. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, cool brewed cold filtered beer. It does say that, but they have cool brewed trademarked. They don't make the uh, classic draft anymore that I'm aware of, but they do make an old style light. All right. Um, like I said, I gave it a C plus. We'll see how it works out today. I bought this can up in the Chicago area this summer. Get a pretty good amount of smoke there. Extremely thick white head, clear, straw appearance with lots of bubbles streaming up. So it's a very typical looking American style lager. We're going to go ahead with the smell test. Very, very faint. And some sweetness and beer aroma. Once again, what you'd expect from any ordinary American beer. And this is priced usually at the between the economy level and the premium level. So it's inexpensive. Now on with the taste test. Get your standard beer flavor. Sweetness, grains. Pretty good amount of hot bitterness there at the end of the taste. A lot of carbonation. Has some bite to it. Um, the mouthfeel is very light and watery and the finish is, once again, I sound like a broken record, but it's crisp, clean, refreshing, and dry. I'm going to jump this rating up to a B. From a C plus to a, a B. I don't know about the consistency. Maybe It seemed like the last time I had it was sort of bland and dull. Um, but this one is good and it has some bite to it. And I, I think that review I did might have been from 09, that written review. Because when I bought some 12 ounce cans last year and then this big 24 ounce this year, I'm really getting a little bit better flavor. They might have tweaked it a little bit. No, it's nothing extraordinary. No, it's not that different from any other American style lager.
but it is very crisp and it is very refreshing and it is good I mean uh, you may not like this style that's your that's fine you're not under any obligation to like this style of beer I happen to like it and I think this is a good representation of the style so laissez le bon temps relate this is a good beer and I'm gonna end this review by saying y'all come on down to New Orleans Ah, that's good.